All right, now we're doing 8Q string cleaning. This is by M. Kelty. 92% of the people like it. Our boss decides to save money by purchasing some cut rate optical character recognition software for scanning in text of old novels to our database. At first, it seems to capture words okay, but we quickly notice that it throws in a lot of numbers at random places in the text. For example, here's an example. All right, so basically just, if it's got numbers, get rid of it. Your hairy coworkers are looking to you for a solution to take this garbled text and remove all of the numbers. Your program will take in a string and clean out all numeric characters and return a string with spacing and the special characters, blah, 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 all intact. Awesome. So on this one, we're gonna be just doing some replace because we're gonna replace this with nothing, right? So we've got uh, the replace method that returns a new string with some or all matches of, the, of a pattern replaced by a replacement. The pattern can be a string or a regex, and the placement, excuse me, replacement can be a string or a function to be called for each match. If pattern is a string, only the first occurrence will be replaced. The original string is left unchanged. All right, awesome. So we're gonna replace dog with monkey here. And you see here's dog and here's monkey, but only the first occurrence will be replaced. So here's the second dog. The second dog is still there. So here's dog is in its regex dog replaced with ferret. So we replace it with ferret, but this dog is still intact. But watch this. What if we put G? Ferret. Look, it replaces ferret everywhere. So you just put ferret after the regex. And if you don't know where, where regular expressions are, here's the page. Uh, it'll tell you all about it. Anyway, uh, so let's do this. We're going to say s, pardon me, s dot, no, pardon me, return, s dot, replace. And we're going to have some regex in there, some regex, whatever. And d, because that means digit, because if it's like this, that means anything but digits. So digit. And we're going to say G for global right there. We're going to replace it with nothing. All right. With the space in between characters. That's what we're replacing it with. All right. Let's test it. Let's see what happens. All right. Excellent. Awesome. There we go. And we're going to submit it. Let's say my solutions. We very much like it. Best practices. 744 and we'll see you next time